Hi, everybody. Oh. It's Barb. Mm. Just giving a little update. Ah. Um. I'm, I don't know if you can see my baby plants there on the inside. I want to show you. I got some plants started in there. I'm going to try to grow tomatoes, which were really, really good last year, and some sweet peppers again. I'm not sure what what happened to those. Some of those seeds weren't any good. I had to replant them. And I got some cucumber and zucchini and onions to grow in a, uh, an above-the-ground planter. So I'll show that when we get that all set up. But uh, everybody's kind of getting spring fever. And I'm going to show you over here. The, uh, our yard guys always kind of blow all the leaves over here. You can see that they're spilt up over the years, kind of like I noticed. I said, oh. A uh, nice mulch pile and over the years it's broke down and made some really rich soil over there I don't know if you can see how black the soil is and this is Florida so basically I, we deal with a lot of sand here and I'm gonna plant I got five of the cages over there my husband did he has to help me because I'm if y'all don't know if you're not familiar with me I'm suffering with multiple sclerosis and I've been in a stupid chair for 15 years but praise God wherever he may be I do believe there's a divine I mean it's just too beautiful somebody created it we just don't know who but anyways back to the garden five tomato plants I'm gonna try to grow there and I'm going to show you last year, if you're following me, you knew I got three pineapples last year. And like I say, this is Florida, so it does get a little bit too cold for um, some tropical plants, like pineapples. So if there's going to be a frost, which we usually have one, one night, and the pineapples can grow and go and they put them inside the greenhouse. But I just wanted to show you that one on the end over there kind of got, um, oh, I got to get my husband to dump that water out. That one on the end got kind of mangled by Hurricane Irma and this one's okay these these are two that gave me two a pineapple apiece last year and that one over there gave me one too and I mean oh there's nothing like a fresh picked pineapple and I went online and there's a guy on there sh showed you the color to wait and they kind of like get an orange color they don't get that big but I mean they're not they're just you can smell them as soon as you pick them off of there you can you could smell them they were just the best pineapples I ever had and see I got two more coming up there so that's got to be cut back we haven't finished doing a lot of the cleanup I lost my little bush she was pretty but it's very hard for, ooh, somebody's been out here digging. We've got raccoons. And um, it's hard for me to, you know, I have to ask other people to do things for me. And kind of lost her, you know, she wasn't, I don't get, really get watered out here. I'd, those pots I was trying to grow some watermelons, but it didn't work out. See, I have mole crickets here too, so a lot of my stuff, I have to grow them in pots. And uh, otherwise, the mole crickets, they look beautiful, but then the mole, I'm not mole crickets, they're the moles. 
they, they come along and they um, eat the roots. And your plant just, you're going like, whoa, it was beautiful, what happened? I got one cucumber, what happened? I had one cute, beautiful cucumber and but well, it was gone. This is my little tree that's withering away. You can see by my la my prior years showing this tree, she was gorgeous and gave me such beautiful fruit. But she has, she's dying from that um, citrus tree disease that they say there's no cure for. So, and the fruits never get very big. You'll see, I'll show you. Because there's going to be fruits on her. She's got a lot, of, she had a lot of flowers. So, these, I'll show you what size the fruits get to be. Oh, somebody's been digging them. Raccoons have been digging in my yard. My husband's been feeding them. So, they've been digging everywhere. Oh, no, another big hole over there. They're going to start being a real pest, man. You've got problems, Al. You have to start stop feeding these guys. They're digging big holes in the yard. Oh, this is an aloe plant here. See how it's getting ready to um I'm trying to show you my knees. It's getting ready to blossom there. See it? And it, it really attracts the hummingbirds. Love it. I guess like a hummingbirds. All kinds of birds around here, because I got a bird bath too. But this is another pineapple that's, you know, they're really prickly on the leaves, so it's hard to get somebody to, <laughs> to clean it out good. But this one actually this year, I'm going to get my son to take it out of here. Well, put some gloves on. Because these leaves have got like little teeth, teeth. I don't know if you can see the little teeth they get. These leaves have got. So you have to be careful or they cut you. But it doesn't look like I have any fruit coming out of those. But at least I got two coming. And this is the... Whoa, come on, love. Sorry, this is a new chair and not very hard. It's very hard to maneuver because it's the wheels in the front turn. It's not nice like my jazzy. Anyway, this is my avocado tree. And I was trying to sit here the other day and look at it. We basically pruned it down so that it won't grow big and tall. It'll just grow out. Why? Because they recommend that you prune the top of it. And we did that last year. And we, you can see all the little red leaves. That's all new growth. But I got to get... I think the, on the bottom, well, I'll, I'll let it grow. I was looking to see if I was going to get fruit this year. Because it should be this year. But I don't see anything. And my other fruit bearing trees have all blossomed. Oh boy, that loquat tree looks like it's thirsty, man. It looks like the fruit's all dried off of it. It's hard to get water back there. <clears throat> You have to rely on people to order. But anyway, it doesn't look like I'm going to get any avocados this year. Okay. Back to the pineapples. Oh, I told you I got three. See what the raccoon did? I don't know if I can get past there. Oh, man. Broke my pot. I don't think I can get past here. I don't know if you can see up against the fence over there on the other side of that weird cactus. There's three pineapple tops from the three pineapples that I got last year. And they're doing good in the ground. And I got my son to cover them up the one night that it, fro it did frost here in Florida. And they still look to be going doing good. So if it freezes, they do have to be covered up. My pots are all ready to be potted. Just waiting for my little babies that are on the porch. Everybody's kind of getting bad raccoon. Everybody's trying to get, uh, we're all getting spring fever. 
And whoa, come on, Barbie, come on, chair. We're all getting spring fever and waiting for our babies to get big. I can't put them out in my yard now. My husband's been feeding the raccoons. You see the um, videos I post? The raccoons and the possums and squirrels. He feeds the squirrels. See the bread up on the table over there? So now he's like inviting them all into the yard and now they're causing problems. See the holes? That's going to be really pretty when that comes up. That flower there, can you see it? Come on, Bob, get it. Where is it? Hmm. And if anybody would like to come pick some fruit, there they are. Hey, I can't pick them. Can't seem to get my husband to pick them. No, oh, pretty fruit. Okay, into the jungle. Studio B. I wanted to get another tree, another fruit tree for over here. Because this ironweed does a whole lot better in the shade than it does in the summer. And as it gets hotter and hotter, this stuff browns out and doesn't look pretty and green. It needs a shade tree. Even though I got that little rain tree growing there, probably seeded from the one that's back in the corner of the property. But I wanted to put, and see, I got the space for it. Right there, that hunk of dirt behind the cactus. For a fruit tree. I don't know what kind of fruit tree to put in there. I want something that grows good in Florida. And I'm afraid to put any more citrus back there because, like I said, um, I got one that's dying of that citrus. And I'm not sure if this key lime's going to get it or not, but I already lost a, a navel orange tree from back over against the fence up back there. If you've watched my earlier videos, you've seen it seen her and seen it the uh, what do you call it? the yearly death of her <laughs> because it, they, they slowly die it takes years for them to die but you can tell when they get it because there it shows on their leaves and then their fruit starts getting real small and I don't know does anybody know that the fruits can still be ate because I think I'm gonna get fruits and my husband used to make me some really nice he we even bought a um, juicer he used to make me fresh squeezed orange juice. And we're getting ready to put a new roof on the house. So those panels for the pool have to come down. And things will be hopping around here for a little bit. But we need a new roof. And I've got some pansies that are uh, in the pots up there trying to seed we'll see and I'm gonna plant those right there now the planter that I got is sitting in the dining room right now dining room kitchen area and I bought two big bags of dirt back there on the patio that you saw that's for this big planter it's a, like a raised up bed bed and it's pretty deep and wide and long so I got it and um, this year maybe I'll get some cucumbers and zucchinis we'll see because uh, my bushes you'll you see in my videos my bushes get beautiful and and I get a beautiful cucumber and the rest of them don't seem to want to stay on the vine. They just fall off and then I realize the leaves all start turning brown and, and I realize that I see the mole, I don't know why I want to call them mole crickets. They think they're just crickets. They leave a 
if you look down on the ground, you can see where they crack up the ground where they're traveling underground. Oh my gosh, look at all these holes. And raccoons, what are they digging for? Are they digging for... You give them a plate of food. I think they wouldn't be digging all over the place, but they are. Okay, guys, thank you for listening to me. I've babbled long enough. I'm going to take a little bit of time to meditate and in silence and reflect on our reality, which is nature. And just relax and enjoy life. No matter who you are or where you are, I send you blessings. Good vibrations of love. Love. I wish everybody would think about love. And peace. And harmony. And compassion. Ooh, it would be a better world if everybody did that. Hmm. Okay. Bye for now.